All right, so we'll talk Tredavious White in, the, in a second just because I think that that's one that we can table for a, for yeah. a minute because we know that it's not something we look at going into this week. What we do look at going into this week is Ed Oliver. Now, what's crazy, Die Doc, is that you know, last week it almost was like you didn't notice Ed Oliver wasn't in for the majority of the game just because of how well the, mm. the Bills D front was playing, and that's a testament to how deep they are. But Ed Oliver, he comes off the field. Now, what I've been hearing, Thigh Doc, it's been kind of all over the place as to what actually happened and what is happening. What have you heard, and what can we expect from uh, Ed Oliver coming into this week? Yeah, so he sprained his ankle, but it's not a normal sprain. So look what I brought from work today, fellas. A little foot that? model. Look at that. There you go. Yeah. So this, this foot's looking at you. So usually when you roll your ankle, it, go, it goes to the side, right? So this mm-hmm. is the right foot. So you roll it sideways. But what happened with that Oliver is he was, he was chasing on that uh, fourth down conversion late in the first half. He planted his foot and he had a, he had a turn back. So let me, I'll just model it with my feet here. Can you see my feet? Oh, we can see oh, him. Yeah, there you go, man. Oh my so God. Usually you have to charge for this type of stuff, fans. Get, get, uh, the, get excited. Foot rolled that way, so it went inward. So what he did is he sprained the inside ligaments of the ankle, not your common outside. Oh, okay. Yes, good. So that's the toe side that he had the sprain on. Now, usually these are like the stronger ligaments of the, the ankle. So if they do sprain, generally they take like a longer time to recover from. Okay. But two, two years ago, uh, Trey White actually sprained his uh, medial ankle, very mild, and he was back in a week. The fact that Ed was able to come back in the game in the second half, but, you know, he didn't play much and then they took him back out, has to mean it's mild. So based on the history, how he was able to come back, his post-game interview said there's nothing really to worry about. I'm going to call this a grade one medial ankle sprain. With a 10-day rest for the Monday Night Football, Ed's going to play. So you got you got him on the, on the ready-to-go list come Monday night? Absolutely. Now with that – Based on just the depth we've seen and how well they are at rotating in and out of the defensive line and still being as good as any unit out there, do you see him having a limited role or no limit at all? He's full ready to go. Yeah. So, you know, with coming back off a sprain like that, it might be difficult, but uh, he definitely could suit up and play. Um, This might be a chance for him to do like a 30 to 40 percent snap count instead of his usual like 50 to 60. So that's kind of the ballpark I look for. Obviously, the flow of the game is going to uh, kind of dictate that, and we'll see where he takes it from there. So now, you, the, the, the no caveat problem. is with the yes. medial ankle sprain, the scary part is is he almost had a high ankle sprain. So that would have been bad news, guys. That would have been like three or four weeks. Um, but now, he is that if it would have went the opposite way of what you were talking about, that know. would have been the worst situation? It's the same It's the same type of sprain. Mm-hmm. It kind of, it, you know, the inside of the ankle is stressed, but it also has to be flexed back when it happens. But, um, if you know, you could pull up the tweet where I put it, but his toe was pointing down kind of when it happened. So it's it was just the medial ankle. This was not a high ankle sprain. So he dodged a bullet. Basically, if he was, like, collapsing a little more, his foot would have been more flexed, and then it could have been a more catastrophic injury. For what it's worth. Yeah, well, love to hear it. I, I actually was yeah. – I was – I don't know why, but I was thinking maybe he wouldn't be ready to go this week, but that's good news. Love to hear that.